First up, he is the governor of Washington State and a 2020 Democratic presidential candidate, Governor Jay Inslee. Governor. There he is. All right. How are you? Good to see you again. Yeah. Hey, nice place to be. Yes. Yeah. Seems like you were just here. You're back. Last time you heard you were not a presidential candidate. Now you are. So is there any increased stature? Or just No, or no just, more uh... money. No, no. no. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we had the Green Party mm -hmm. uh, in years past. Yep. They didn't get much. You, it seems like you're now a one-man Green Party. You've kind of <laughs> made that, you're, you know, you're sort of a one-issue candidate, which I think is the issue. I've always said that. Yeah. Most important yeah. issue. Yeah. Is that a fair way to characterize it? You are the Green Party within the Democratic Party? No, now? I would rephrase it that I am the Democratic one-man person who intends to make Donald Trump a blip in history. That's what I would say. <laughs> that I am. And I believe that that's... Right. No. Uh, you have a long look, way to go. Look, I, I, I'm a Democrat, and uh, I got into this race because I know we have one last chance to defeat climate change. And it is a last chance. We've kicked right. the count down the road for 30 years. And I got in this race because I got three grandkids, and I'm going to look them in the eye and make sure I've told them it's, I've done everything I could. It's amazing. In the last presidential election, in the debates, it wasn't even an issue. That came four minutes. E four minutes. Even among the Democrats. Yeah, right. Yeah. So this time it's going to be different. Well, this is why I'm yes. pushing the party to have a debate exclusively around climate Right. Change. No, I think we're all on the yeah. page that it yeah. has to at least be in the debate. Yeah. But here's the problem. Climate change initiatives were on the ballot in 2018. Mm -hmm. yeah. Almost every state said no. Mm -hmm. And when you ask, even people, people have come around now to agreeing, yes, it is a problem, right. it's man-made, we should do something. When the next question is, would you be willing to spend $10 a month? 68% mm -hmm. of people say no. So they don't put the money where the mouth is. Well, that's we, why, how do we get around that? Well, we make sure that the people paying the $10 a month are the oil companies who are taking $27 billion well, in gonna tax take... subsidies. We've got to retrieve that $27 billion and to put it in clean energy. And today I rolled out a big, bold, and ambitious program because we're a big, bold, ambitious country that, in fact, will put the onus on them. You know, they always talk about the Republicans. Well, how are you going to pay for it? How are they going to pay for Paradise, California that burned down? And yeah, so I asked people didn't have a house, but, okay? But, I mean, at some point, I mean, people talk about a carbon tax, which mm -hmm. I, I think is a terrible name. As usual, right. Democrats <laughs> bad at naming things. Right. It's that, we'll call it a pro-life initiative, maybe, you know. <laughs> pro-life on Earth, you there know, you something. Go. Okay. Um, but at some point, we are going to have to make it a cost to be a polluter or just a pig. Or just sloppy. And we don't do, we are afraid, as always in America, to yeah. confront the people. Yeah. Well, Only look, I, uh, we're not confronting the people, we're standing with them. And I'll tell you what we did today. I rolled out a, uh, this plan to defeat climate change with Mayor Garcetti uh, with me that will do three things. Number one, it will guarantee Americans that we have 100% clean electricity, no coal after 2030. We need to wean ourselves off of coal. Okay, but l let me stop you there. I hear this all the time. Mm -hmm. Electricity is not brought by a ferry. Yes. It... <laughs> I don't know what you mean, but... What I mean is people think it's free. It's the sun. That doesn't cause any pollution. Right. Wind doesn't. Right. Not electricity. Electricity right. comes from natural gas, right. oil, right. coal. So I have an electric car, mm -hmm. but when I plug it in, that... Electricity came from somewhere other than just free. Well, today I was at the bus barn with Mayor Garcetti, where they are <laughs> charging electric buses with solar panels right in the charging lot. Solar panels, And sure. we have to understand but... what has happened. The coal plants have gone from 1,000 plants to about 300 because they just aren't competitive. And we have to understand that we are the most innovative country in world history. And today, clean energy jobs Not are going for a long time. twice as fast. Clean energy jobs are going yeah. twice as fast as the rest of the economy. And look at wind turbines don't cause cancer. Trump is wrong. They cause right. jobs, okay? They right. cause jobs, and that's what we believe in. Yeah, I mean, look, we are still the great innovators in, yeah. in tech. And I think people think we can invent our way out of this. Mm -hmm. But I don't think we can. I don't think you can invent your way out of... Well, I'm, I'm going to beg to differ a little bit. Look, look at what's happened in solar energy. I wrote a co-authored a book in 2007 about this, and I said solar is going to come on like gangbusters. Since that time, the cost of solar energy has come down 80%, and it is continuing to drop. The but cost what, of wind power has come down 20%. Okay, but what percentage of the grid 
or is sun and solar? Small now. It's I mean, like 6, 8, 9 percent. Okay, but it's so growing, it didn't come on like gangbusters. But it's well, no, it is. It's growing at 3, 200, 300 percent okay, a year. And but, we can get... Let me give you an example of what I mean by this. Just one factual example. Uh, they say we can't uh, achieve my goal, which is to have electric cars by 2030. Look you at what we all did. all electric cars. That's correct. It, the, the new cars that you start right. buying in, in 2030. That's, that's in my proposal. In 1940, the United States total made 77 Jeeps. Four years later, we had made 640,000 Jeeps. If we mobilize this nation, right. we can build a clean energy economy. We just well, need a can-do president. Also, in, when, when World War II got started, you know what we stopped making? Cars. Well... <laughs> no cars. Really. Well, this they, time... They turned it all into tank factories this and time, plane factories. The only cars were, like, big cars for generals to ride around with the flag at the front. <laughs> this time but that's a different generation. This you know, time we're going to have cars. Okay, well... We're going to have electric cars like I have. Look, I argued with Megan McCain. She so, said, you don't have any cars. I said, look, I got a GM Bolt, all-electric Bolt, made by American auto workers in Orion, Michigan. That's a destiny for America, for jobs in this country. Okay. But... Important question. Mm -hmm. They're all of them. You're arguing with Meghan McCain? <laughs> no. no. That's not the question. <laughs> what about nuclear? Now, that's one that divides liberals. I'm, I'm, I, send, I mean, yeah, ask me one day, I'm for it, one day I'm against it. I, mean, yeah. I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's clean. It's also like, if there's a problem, right. it's ultra, ultra dirty yeah. and really bad. So where are you, where view, are you on that? My view is that uh, we have to be serious about any potential zero low carbon a system. Because, oh, yes. the, well, if, this is an if, <laughs> if you can make it cost effective, if you can make well, it safer, and if you can resolve the nuclear waste problem, if you can do those things, mm. it could be part of the possibility. So no. No, but you got to do it. Because we haven't done those things for decades. So here's what I believe I believe we should do research and development to so, yes. find out whether or not. <laughs> Whether or not we can surmount those problems. And if we can, it could be part of the solution. So I support that R&D because this is an urgent problem. That's my view. Okay. So I'm with you both ways. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much for doing this. Thank you, buddy. It's a great issue, and I'm glad somebody I'm is taking it. I'm going to mention jmz.com. I'm going to just did. <laughs> <laughs>